हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक सो हेयर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सेट अप अवर इनिशियल प्रोजेक्ट हेयर आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट यू कैन आल्सो डू सो बाय गोइंग टू दिस फाइल एंड न्यू न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सो हेयर यू शुड सेलेक्ट दिस एम्प्टी कंपोज एक्टिविटी एंड क्लिक नेक्स्ट हेयर यू कैन नेम योर एप्लीकेशन आई हैव नेम्ड दिस एप्लीकेशन स्टडी स्मार्ट and here you can select this minimum sdk to 21 and in this project we will use this kotlin dsl because this is a recommended one so you can just click on this finish button and your new project will be created once your new project will create you should first add dependencies of all the libraries we will use in this project so here let me go to this build dot gradle project level file and in this file i have pasted two more plugin ids so here this is a dagger hilt plugin id and this is for ksp because in this project we will use ksp because this is newer and faster than the kept you can copy these dependencies from the github repository you can find the link in the description and in this project we will use the kotlin version 1.9.10 because this is the latest one and after this project level build file we will go to this module level build file so here first you need to paste these two ids and here you can also change the target sdk to 34 and after this i have also added this value in my compile option since we will use java date time in our project so we need to add this is cool library desugaring enabled to true this value then we can only use that java date time api with this value we also need to add one more dependency here you can see this one and let's go back to there and i am using this java version 2 version 17 in this project and after this i have used this compose compiler version to 1.5.3 and make sure you add this compose compiler version which are compatible with the kotlin version since we are using our kotlin version 1.9.10 this is compatible with this 1.5.3 if you don't know which version is compatible to which kotlin version you can go to the google and search for this kotlin compose compatibility so you can see this first link so here let's scroll down and here you can find this compatible map and after this these dependencies will come with your new project only thing you need to do is you need to change this compose bom version so we will use this version and after this i have added this dependency for compose life cycle and for navigation we will use this compose destination library this is a third party library but best one for the navigation in compose and after this i have added these dependencies for room library which we will use for local storage and this dagger hilt for dependency injection and after this i have added this dependency for downloadable fonts so you can copy all these dependencies from the github repository and sync these gradle files so let's close these files first next thing we will update our theme and typography so here in this ui package we have this theme package and here we have these three files so first let's go to this theme file so here in this file first we have these two for dark and light color scheme and after these two values we have this theme function you will get all this code with the new project this code is for the theming 
so here we are defining if we have android version 12 plus then we can use this dynamic colors and if our phone is in dark mode then this dark color scheme will apply otherwise this light color scheme will apply and after this this is how we are defining the color of that status bar so here we are providing this primary color to this status bar so first let's go to these color values so here we can see with the initial project these values have been assigned to these primary secondary and tertiary what color values these are so let's press ctrl b on this so this new file will open this is the same color file here we have so here we can see we have these six colors and we are using these six colors in defining these two color schemes but what we will do in this project we will use custom color schemes so for that let's go to the material 3 site where we will build these color schemes so here on this google you can type this material theme builder and you will get this first link let's click on this so here we have this material theme builder so let's go to this custom tab and here we can provide this primary color so let's provide a primary color so this one is the color value let's press enter so this blue color we will use let's close this and here when we scroll down here all these color values we will use for different things these color values are for this light scheme and these color values are for that dark scheme so what I will do, I will export these all these color values in this Jetpack Compose theme.kt file. You can unzip this file. So when you will unzip that folder, you will get these two Kotlin files. Let me minimize this file and here we can see we have all these color values. So what I will do, I will copy these color values minimize it instead of these color values let me paste those values so here we can see we have all these color values and after these color values here we have this theme file so here again let's copy these two color scheme values only those color two values not this function and instead of these two color values paste those values let's rename this with the small l and the second one again with the small d so this first one will be for this light color scheme and this second one is for dark color scheme so now let's provide these two values here like this now the next thing we will update our typography for that let's close this colors file and this theme file and the third file is this type file so let's open this so here we can see with the new project they have shown this is how you need to provide these typographies so what this typography is first let me go to this typography by pressing ctrl b so here we can see in the material 3 all these typographies has been classified into these 15 categories. So let's close this. So here if we don't override these values then our app will take the default values which are in the material 3 library. But what we will do we will use two downloadable fonts for that let's go to the google and type here compose downloadable fonts this first link so let's scroll down to use the downloadable font first we need to add this dependency in our gradle build but we already have used this dependency next thing we need to create a value of provider so let's copy this value code and paste it here 
so here let's import this google font and right now we can see we don't have this certificate values so for that let's go back to that web page and here it is saying we need to add this font certificate file in our values folder so let's open this one so here this new github page has been opened so let's copy all these values and here in this resource package and in this values package let's create one more resource value file and name it and okay let's paste our code which we copied from that github file close this file and after this we need to use these so let's copy this code and and paste it here like this so here we need to provide the name of font which we want in our app to use so for these names let's go to the website of this google font so here is the website fonts.google.com so we will use two fonts first one is this ubuntu this one we will use so what we will do let's co just copy the name of this font and paste it here so this google fonts will provide us this ubuntu font for our app and also rename it to ubuntu font and we will use one more font for our app so let's copy this and paste it here and second font name is this salsa we will use for this heading again let's copy the name of this font so here let's use that name salsa next thing what we need to do we need to provide all these different typographies so here how we can do so this is using the default font family but for the body large we will use ubuntu font family so let's provide that and all these values will be same now we need to override all these values so what i will do instead of typing one by one i will just copy all these values from my github repository you can also do so so for that here let's type type and then we will see this type dot kt file so here we can see i have already override all these values so i will just copy these values and paste it here now we need to rename our these values to this ubuntu font family and this one to sensor font family now this will not give error anymore so this is for the typography so let's close this let me run the app to make sure that everything is working perfectly fine so let's run it here we can see our app is working perfectly fine so let's minimize this so in this video we have provided the required dependencies for all the libraries and we also have provided the color schemes and the typography with downloadable fonts and in the next video we will start designing our first screen make sure you subscribe so you don't miss next video thanks for watching